Frank Bowling was once considered an All-American boy. The McGill Institute and Spring Hill College graduate will be honored in Milwaukee next month by an organization that has not forgotten the old Milwaukee Braves. There were lots of stars on that team, including two from Mobile. I visited with Frank this week to talk a little baseball and remember his major league career. And guess who this is? The shortstop. A guy named Billy Martin. 87-year-old Frank Bowling is still having a love affair with the game of baseball. Yeah. Old Hartwell Field, when I was a kid, we used to go over there and, and try to get a foul ball, come over the, uh, and run for it and get the ball, and you could go in the stadium free if you, get, you, get, you caught the ball. Frank is one of Mobile's baseball legends, and there are many. Just ask Frank. Hank Aaron and I, we came up the same year in 54, he started. And then right, right after him, we had a guy named Willie McCovey came up. For he was a rookie of the year. Just then we had another guy come up named Billy Williams. He was a rookie of the year. And then we had, had uh, A.G. and Jones and Amos Otis all played for the New York Mets who won the World Series. That was the outfield, three more millions. Frank played in the big leagues 12 seasons. He started in Detroit and played for the Braves in Milwaukee and Atlanta. Now, Milwaukee uh, has a history of being one of the best cities in the whole country as far as attendance. They were, they were leading the league every year in attendance. And then the, then the Braves decided they want to go to Atlanta because of the revenue from television. One of Frank's biggest moments came in the last game at Milwaukee County Stadium in 1965 when Frank hit his first and only Grand Slam home run and it was delivered by Hall of Famer Sandy Koufax. Second baseman Frank Bowling is at the plate. It's the first Grand Slam of Frank Bowling's career. Sandy got a little wild and, and you know, 3-0 and oh and 3-1, and one and he had to come in there and I just closed my eyes and swung, man, and it went, you know. No, it, it was a thrill, it was a thrill. For Eddie Matthews and Frank Hank was Aaron. teammates with Hank Aaron for six seasons and watching his friend become a home run king is still fresh in his mind. Hank Aaron would just go out and just hit home runs and steal bases and do everything so easy, you know, like it was, it was nothing. Frank and his late brother Milt put the bowling name in headlines and on street signs leading into Hank Aaron Stadium. Seeing another Bears team hit the road is tough to watch. It's a baseball town in one respect, but then in today's world, it's really not. It's a football town, you know that. I'll tell you about uh, Pictures, Aaron. memorabilia, and plenty of stories about baseball over a half century ago. A Milwaukee Braves fan club will honor Frank Bowling next month as he takes his place on the Wall of Fame at Brewer Stadium. And it's going to be a bronze uh, picture of me, a plaque, and it'll be there forever, I guess. All right, congratulations, Frank. We are proud of you. The Southern